of President Trump's legal team. Jay Sekulow, by the way, he's also the chief counsel for the American Center for Law and Justice. And he also has a pretty bitchin' band. Mr. Sekulow, welcome to Meet the Press and Happy Father's Day. Happy Father's Day, Chuck. Uh, let me begin with getting some clarification here. The president tweeted earlier this week, I am being investigated for firing the FBI director by the man who told me to fire the FBI director, witch hunt. So let me start with this. When did the president become aware that he was officially under investigation by the special counsel? The president is not under investigation by the special counsel. The, res the tweet from the president was in response to the five anonymous sources that were purportedly leaking information to the Washington Post about a potential investigation of the president. But the president, as James Comey said in his testimony, and as we know as of today, the president has not been and is not under investigation. Uh, well, I go back to the tweet. Then why did he say he was? Yes. I mean, was this he just he mistweeted? Are we not to take him at his no. word? No, the, the president's tweet was in response to the Washington Post story. So if I was in a jury for a case that Mr. Seculo was uh, lawyering, I would automatically, I, I wouldn't even listen to the, to the testimony. I would automatically go with the opposite side of uh, Jay Seculo. He just, it, it's his look. He just looks absolutely ruthless, conniving. He just has that look to him. He has the exact opposite look that you want from a lawyer, the exact opposite look. So the Washington Post issued a story that had five anonymous sources, which they never identified what agencies those sources originated out of. The response from the president using social media was about that story. But let me be very clear here, as it has been since the beginning. Yeah. The president is not and has not been under investigation for obstruction. Okay, then, and why is the president confused? Is he just, is, is, is this just that he's thinks the media is correct here or not? I, I'm confused by this. No, the, why is your, yeah. why is he not taking your legal advice or other legal advice saying, hey, don't, Mr. President, you're not under investigation, so why tweet this? I, I, th this is why the, there's the a confusion. Chuck, I think you're, you're reading more to the tweet than what's there. The president sent out that tweet directly in response to the Washington Post story with the five anonymous unnamed sources from unnamed agencies. So that's why he put that in the tweet. So, look, the president has been, as you know, uh, very effective in utilizing social media. But I want to be very clear here and very direct. The president has not been and is not under investigation. And that is, the tweet was in response to the Washington Post story with no named sources whatsoever. In fact, as you know, Chuck, no named agencies whatsoever. Let me go to something else of that tweet. He said, by the man who told, by the man who told me to fire the FBI director, I yeah. assume that is a reference to the Deputy Attorney General Rod Rosenstein. Uh, he, the President himself said he was going to fire the FBI Director regardless of whatever the Deputy Attorney General or the Attorney General said. So I'm confused there. Who made yeah. the recommendation to fire James Coney? The, was it the President's per decision or was it the recommendation of the Deputy Attorney General? Well, first of all, the President ultimately makes the decision. That's what he is as President of the United States. There's a collaborative and discussion, uh, very thorough process. I'm, back, I'm holding in my hand the letter that was sent from the Attorney General of the United States with the memorandum from the uh, Deputy Attorney General of the United States regarding the situation involving former FBI Director Comey. And in that recommendation is a, rec a recommendation for removal. Now, as you know,